आ वेरी वेरी स्वीट गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम इन एस एस टी क्लास एस एस टी क्लास विद रेनो माम चिल्ड्रन एज यू नो दैट इंडिया इज अ नेचुरल वंडर इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कंट्री एंड हैज अ लार्ज वराइटी ऑफ लैंडफॉर्म्स वी हैव स्नो केप माउंटेन्स सैंडी डेजर्ट फर्टाइल रिवर प्लेन्स ब्यूटिफुल कोस्ट एंड आयलैंड all in one country so today i'll tell you about the natural reasons of india on indian map so you just get set ready with your map and stationery so children this is the physical map of india okay and today we'll show natural reasons of india at first we'll write the heading we should always write the heading we are explaining today natural reasons of india so we'll write the heading natural reasons of india okay so this is the heading natural reasons of india as you know that india is a very big country and has a large variety of landforms so at first himalayas okay so you just see yes himalayas the northern part of india is bordered by the northern mountains okay so these mountains see these mountains are like great mountain walls in the northern and northeastern part of our country okay so we'll show northern mountains okay right so this is the location okay of northern mountains these are the highest mountains in the world and are snow capped okay children so right next to the northern mountains are the northern plains okay children northern plains you just see northern plains the great plains of northern india lies to the south of the himalayas okay and it is bounded by the himalayas in the north and the kan plateau in the south okay children so now we'll draw northern plains right you just see okay so this is the part of northern plains okay children right so now next part okay you know that northern plains are made up of three river basins the indus river basin the ganga river basin and the brahmaputra basin and these plains are really very fertile because uh, these are formed by the sediments jo rivers aati hai na himalayas se wo sediments laati hai aur इनको बहुत नॉर्दर्न इंडिया नॉर्दर्न इंडिया को बहुत ही फर्टाइल बना देती है ड्यू टू फाइन सॉइल आल ऑफ एम डिपोजिटेड बाय द रिवर्स द एरिया वॉटर्ड बाय द रिवर्स इज नोन एज बेसिन एंड आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट थ्री बेसिन ओके राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट विल डू नेक्स्ट थार डेजर्ट ओके चिल्ड्रन लाइज इन द वेस्टर्न पार्ट ओके दिस इज द वेस्टर्न पार्ट the great india desert indian desert also known as thar desert located in the north western part of the india okay it lies to the west of the aravalli mountain range here aravalli mountain ranges are there so we'll draw okay you just see this is the desert part okay the thar desert lies in the west okay her scanty of rainfall and vegetation hot and dry uh, this region is very hot and dry you can say it form a natural boundary between india and its neighboring country here pakistan okay children so this is the desert area now next next you just see this is first one himalayas northern plains third desert area okay now we'll discuss about next next part is plateau area okay children southern plateau of india lies to the south of the great plains of northern india before that uh, we'll discuss about the coastal plains 
so you know that india the side is arabian sea here bay of bengal and here indian ocean is there so india has and uh, giving us two coastlines okay children so this is the western coastal plains okay these are narrower and here you will see these are eastern coastal plains okay up to here and so this is clear this is the eastern coastal plains here and here western coastal plains eastern coastal plains are wider these are wider than the western coastal plains okay and uh, now we'll discuss about the we'll show the plateau plateau is made up of uh, you know rocks and minerals this region is very much rich in rocks and minerals so now we'll show these by using index so this these are you know, on the map you just see small boxes are here and these are called index index is an indicator uh, it you can say it's a guide index help us to understand the map with the help of the index we can understand uh, the map very uh, in a very nice way uh, whenever you draw a map you should always make an index you know there are marks for index and heading also so here we will write index okay right so first these are the himalayas so we'll show by using color okay we'll put dots here you just see in this area you just see i'm using brown color you just show this area by brown color dots dots okay you just use dots here okay the sikkim and here also right okay children so what you will do you will show here also it means ki jahan bhi ye dots hain it means ye himalayas ko show kar rahe hain okay right wherever you will see these dot in the map it means ye himalayas ko show kar rahe hain it's clear so very much clear na so ye dots brown dots ye aapke himalayas ko show kar rahe hain okay next next is northern plains okay beta northern plains aapko malum hai these are very fertile we'll show this by using green color okay so green color dash you will show in this way okay right clear here also so this is northern plains here also you will show northern plains okay so you will write here northern plains right so next you will see next is desert area so we are using here black color okay okay you will show by using black color cross so you will put here cross and you will write here desert okay children next we'll show coastal plains by using red color okay so you will put circle of red color right coastal plains okay children right so here also so what you will write here you will write here coastal plains right next this region 
plateau region. So, we will show this by slanting lines. Okay. So, here box is not there. So, we will make one more box here. Okay. And we will write here plateau. Okay, so here we will show blue lines. Okay, children. It means wherever you will see this, uh, these blue lines means you are showing plateau in the map. Okay, wherever you will show black color cross means desert part is there. So, it is clear. So, this is the map of natural reasons of India. Okay, children. You just see it carefully. Draw it Carefully, okay children, and use colors accordingly. Okay children, have a wonderful time.